Alright, what's going on guys? It's Wingers here. Um, today we're going to be VOD reviewing our last cash cup, which didn't go too well compared to the last two. It's actually our worst cash cup of the season. Um, I'm going to review some of the games and what we could have done better. But yeah, as well, we are just really, I'm gonna, just going to focus on our deaths more. And if I see anything that we did well, I'm try to mention that. So, we drop a kid in. Get the Got the loot. I lead the rotate. I, I see that the left side is free. We can probably just follow this. And right here, I'm pretty sure, is when I decided to cut to the left. It wasn't a bad decision. I did see that it played up over this little hill, so if we did go right, we'd have to go around. So I see that it pulls up there. Oh, no, we get tagged in the back. I got one because that's on our roof. I think right here we wait and then we're gonna hop in this tarp, which is actually a really good decision. Takes a lot of mats. Once I noticed, once I heard footsteps, we cut out to the right right here. And then it starts to return. Just to save some bills. Right on each other, this is really good. First team in. drop here which this is actually huge because if you look look at look at the elevation changer here so I call it drop down we're like one of the first teams to get down just huge but yeah, I think we yeah we look back right here we still have a decent amount of builds we get we get a couple kills then what I should have done is just look there was two two, two teams up there Right when we saw this build up, we should have either chopped it because it was really connected by two things, or we should have built up instead of because we cut all the way over to the left and then it ends up getting just having to take a pick. And I try to. I just got 200 pumped in the back. So right there, we really should have just kept going ahead instead of cutting over at the end. Okay, so second game was a 14th place finish. I need to find us. I mean, at this point, oh yeah, so this is when we were in the bush on low ground, which this is just, we, we didn't get a single zone pull this whole time. And we saw this team rotating up. So I'm like, okay. And I, and I saw them starting to fight, so I called out a triple beam. I aggro for the loot, we, grab, we ended up grabbing it. And then the zone pulls max, right? So I call, I see the rotate. We cut around the right side, or left side, and cut right through this little hill. And I think what I should have done right here, I think what I should have done is instead of cutting up to the okay here can I get to me so I think instead of um, going up because the zone pulls like to the top left and side and just ramp up the to the right side I don't know left would have been kind of free though just had to ramp up to the left side and just kind of try to hope for some good RNG right here so I ramp off that team and I full box this right here. And I noticed that there's this team right here, so I block it off. And at this point, I still have 62 builds. So, I don't know. I think we end up getting a kill right here. Along that lines. I, think, I don't think we get the match. Okay, 
Okay, so Zon pulls Max. Yeah, we need, we just need to go. Surge just pop, but it doesn't matter. We just have to keep going. So I see it. This is actually a good rotate right here. But the problem is, you'll see in a second. These kids are up above us. I'm like, okay, we can't stop. So I pop this many. I wait for them to pop the eggs. Like, we, we just gotta keep going. So I block off the top. We're not getting shot up by anybody yet. Let me go to Savvy's for sure. Savvy, Savvy got tagged a lot. This is the problem. He didn't block. If you're in that back, you have to have somebody always blocking up. He just, he just didn't build at all. Which didn't uh, help. And I don't think they were even that close to me. Which wasn't good. And then that, we ended up playing it as a duo and then dying. So, There's that. so remember first moving... If you're in the back, um, make sure that you're blocking off because that can also uh, ruin your game as well. Which I probably I probably could have used more of my mats. But at the same time, I was trying to save some, so that's partially my fault and partially uh, Savvy's fault right there for not blocking off enough. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna vote review I'm gonna vote review the other games off stream, but I'm gonna vote review one game that was really important that we messed up. And this is my fault because I didn't call the rotate quick enough. Important game as well. So we, we got a bunch of we had good mats until we did this play. So we ended up ramping up after we got a kill on these kids that were stuck at height. So we ramped up here to get those kills. And this, this is the biggest mistake we made probably the whole tournament. So yeah, we had like I was three from the all the mats. We're gonna, we're gonna tarp ahead. We're gonna see some pulls max. We're gonna tarp all the way ahead if we can. And try to escape uh, this team above us. So Gamma leads a bunch. We look up. We're going. And I call the crank up. Which would have been fine. I, I go three layers up and this team on the left shoots me down to 120 health. And I ended up. The kid above me ended up jumping on me in, uh, I think, one attack. So, I, I think all we had to do right here is just... Here, let me show you. We, we, we could have just literally played that second high layer. Look at this. There, there are so many kids trying to... like That's that's our team. That's another team. And then there's another team right under trying to take it as well. All we had to do is just play this mid-round layer. Like, the same layer my camera's on. We would have been fine. So if you watch more, watch out. This other team is looking up to try to take it. Night stream tops. It pulls back. So really, all we would have had to do is just stay on this layer. And these kids up. Look how shambles the height team is. We would have just played this layer. To like, see this metal tarp with no walls. We could have just played that layer. And then eventually, they would have just cranked up behind them right here. And it would have been super free. And then they weren't, they didn't have much stuff. So, just be more patient for taking height is my tip right there. So we hit a, we hit a good run here from the right side. My mats are decent. Not good enough to win the game, but just try to get a refresh. So I headed right here. This is something you have to be, as an edge, you have to be looking. I brought us into probably uh, it could have been like we could have instantly died i should have right here so i we were going through this valley when you see it pulls down into a valley that isn't the whole zone so it doesn't say it doesn't cover up like if it would have covered up here if it would have covered up this whole area say this see this hill in front of me if this would also in valley this would have been fine but since it pulls down just a little valley on the right side i I went directly down into that valley. And you'll see what happens right here. Everybody starts looking back at you because you're you're just in the open right here. So you have to be careful with stuff like this. They, they could have got this kill. We're already shambles and stuff. So go up to the left. Good call out by Savvy to try to get under the builds. We ended up getting a nice refresh right here. I think we get a good kill right here. Oh yeah, so Savvy
here. Look at my mats. I don't have a lot of mats. I'm like, okay, we should get full tarp at least get into the sun and get rid of the hard point. So I shooting at the build. I do. I, I'm just trying to use as much as possible. I get us as far in as I can. This is the problem right here. Watch how panicky everybody gets. Like, I'm just gonna stare at the top of the At this point, we're only. Game of Souls is 200 brick. Savvy's low. Savvy right here should not pop heals. Because, worst case scenario, he can just stay above me. Gamba jumps in. And he just misses shots. He really shouldn't jump in that. Shouldn't have jumped in that. Oh no, he's not. He had no re. Like, look, watch, watch what I did right here. I I saw a free rotate right side. I got that refresh on Matt. Gamma didn't jump in that box. Just as a as a IJ, you need to make sure that you're on the same. I had the freest rotate right here. I had a lot of bills. I ended up getting up to the right side right here. Yeah, good spot. And right there, just have to be patient. Like, I feel like a lot of teams and they can kind of pick like up a spot where it's just super shambles on edge zone. They just panic and they all like forget where each other are. And then that's when, that's when you die. You just need to, everybody just needs to be calm and just follow the IGL and make sure you're authoritative and follow me too. So, alright guys, I think that's going to wrap up today's video on my last cash cup, Trio's cash cup that we played. Could have done way better. I'm gonna do better in the upcoming tournaments. So I, I'm gonna have content out soon for that. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.